Hey everyone, you got Joe, Isaiah, and uh, Maestrieff here, or I should have said Raptor X, because I'm like, you know, with you guys and Tank, uh, Geek Dude, I'm like, I, I gotta, I guess right. I should call myself the Automator, and I'm like, I got a cool name. But um, yeah, we were working on this thing, and uh, we were, anyway, it, it's a long story, it's how all three of us got here, but um, we started loop uh, parsing some, I had done, where I was parsing the HTTP response using a JSON, shoving it into an object and then getting yes. it. And we were doing it and we, and we noticed it was a little slow. And so that was where, this is where we started saying, well, what if we were to just do a regex match on it? Now, the thing was, it was, what was it like 14,000 lines is when we were yes. the, running the, it. So the, 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 the uh, JSON that you re that, that gets returned is a very big uh, file of 13,000 lines. Yeah. Yeah, so it was like, it's a big object, JSON object, and, and that's part of why in this case in particular, um, the results we're going to see, it, it's it's related to that, right? Yes. Exactly. But um, yeah, so much, is this, why don't you go ahead and start showing a little more of what yeah. we were doing here. First of all, I, I have to say I'm not a guy that usually uh, does a lot of performance things, but sometimes you notice the, 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 uh, the change in performance is so big that you say like, hold on something is going on and that's what drew my attention. I'm not usually after these kind of things because modern computers, they do it so fast that you don't even notice you know, right. the difference. But you will see that in this case, we do have kind of like a little difference. So we, we do have two approaches to the same problem. Um, one of them, uh, which is the one, the original one that was used was that we grabbed the uh, response text, which is a JSON file, 13,000 lines of file. We parse it into an auto hotkey object. And that's when I saw the code and I noticed the lag, I said like, that's what probably is the problem. Now, after we parse the 13 lines of code, then we use a for loop here that uses the, that object that we just created to kind of like get some information out. That's what is going on. And that information, we show it into an HTML file that that doesn't matter. The idea is that with this approach, we are doing two loops. One of them is parsing the file, which is a huge file. And the other one is actually using the information, which is a second loop. Um, what we're gonna do is that we created a tick here that is gonna grab that uh, count and Later on, just subtract it from the current tick, and that is going to tell me more or less in milliseconds how much time has passed. Um, and I'm doing that for the second approach. The second approach, which is the newest one, um, what I decided is like, okay, why don't we just grab the text and instead of parsing the information into an object, why don't we use a regular expression match in only one loop? So we're just using one loop that is going to actually match each response and do the HTML thing that we were talking about. But instead of having two loops, I would just have one. Just by logic, that would tell me that that is going to do a performance. But the amount, the difference, like it was for me was like, okay, wow, that was a big performance difference. So if we run it, what we're going to get is a message box here that is going to give me the difference between those two guys in milliseconds. And you will see how it uh, it goes. Now, when I run the script, I have to wait for it because it's doing all the all the work and it's doing it twice. But I should get a message box now um, that tells me that the regular expression took 800 milliseconds while parsing took 3,500 milliseconds. Now, you can see that the difference is huge already. So just by doing the regular expression in this situation actually saved me a lot of time. And this actually runs twice because I'm getting information from two different sites. And on the second run, it gave me 600 versus 2,700. So it is consistent that the regular expression option is helping out. And in the end, uh, the result would be um, what you see here, which is that we're getting some results from YouTube and putting them, placing them in um, a GUI. And the main idea is that I'm getting uh, information from two channels and putting them together, which YouTube does not that. You cannot search in two channels at once, right? Now, uh, another thing that Maestrith actually told me, like, okay, but use the set batch lines. I usually do not use this option, but now I'm understanding that, you know, I should have that in all the scripts. Usually what happens is, again, as I'm not, perform I I'm not uh, checking for performance all the time, whatever we do, for most people, it works. But in this case, as we're testing time, 
as soon as I did that, I selected set batch lines minus one, you will notice that the, the numbers are way different. Like now when I was getting 800 and 600, now I'm getting 300. And when I was getting 2000, right? And 3000, now I'm getting 900. So the, the, the difference in performance here is very big. And when I run it the second time, which is the other part, now it's 309, uh, 390 versus 800. So basically this line here, this set batch line really generates a, a performance uh, reduction, uh, well, improvement, sorry, that in some situations is really noticeable because for what we were doing, it was taking way too long for loading. It was it doing a lot of processing. Yes, it was doing a lot of processing and it was taking too much time. But those two things in general tell me like in this situation in particular, the regular expression works a little bit better because I'm not doing too loose. No, hold, 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 hold on. Here's where, here's where we got to be careful with how we say it, right? Yeah, I think it is okay. faster, right? Yes. And, it's, and I will have no doubts it's going to consistently be faster. However, okay. I think it took you, uh, or, you know, even an expert, a lot longer to write that regular expression than it took me to grab it from, to actually program the top part. Getting that is, it from that the is for, right? that is for sure. So, so basically that's one aspect. the second one yeah. is the, uh, like we know in that regex expression, if something, if the order for some reason changes or they add some extra shit, things might. I would have to, I would have to go and, and modify it and make sure that it, now it is true that. In the, uh, in the JSON object right might get changed and break too, right? But I just don't think it's as like nearly as likely. I really doubt it because I, as we're just. I'm saying it's possible. I'm just saying yeah, it's, I'm not yeah, saying it's likely. It's not likely, right, exactly. Yeah. But in general, yeah, the, the parsing uh, of the JSON, converting it into an object, gives you the, 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 the advantage that it doesn't matter how that object is arranged, right? Um, in the sense like, for example, it doesn't matter if the video ID um, parameter is below the thumbnail. It doesn't matter. With the regular expression, right. it matters because no. it, we are going by the exact order at, at which those parameters but, are shown. I got a question for both you guys. Um, and make, make sure you have to want to start just because you haven't said much yet. Uh, if, if I was doing the same exact thing, and instead of we were grabbing, I forget how many we, we did, like five items. If I was grabbing 500 items, right? Do, because to me, with the JSON object and stuff, there's some overhead to create the thing in it all. But once you do it, if you're grabbing a lot of stuff, would, would that actually be a, you know, might that pick up speed compared to the regular expression have to grabbing all of them? Or are we going to see a consistent? Yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, it just depends on how much you're actually pulling from the, the, the from the regex because it's, uh, I would say the amount of performance you would have to lose yeah, okay. from, from the regex would be quite dramatic and yes 500 could possibly make up that deficit and difference but i mean most of the time you're not uh you're not gonna see that much of a benefit but then again no most people don't normally work with this much data and yeah that's the thing so it is not something like um uh, one quick thing is that I'm not using the study option for the regular I was gonna, expression that's, yet. That was yeah, what I was yeah. going to ask you was, will that make a difference? Well, not exactly. So, so if you're in, in our case, we're just querying two channels. Okay. So that regular yeah. expression is only executed twice. Okay. The difference is not going to be that huge. But if this loop here on the top was a longer loop, like say for example you're gonna run a thousand times then uh -huh. yeah if you put an s in here that regular expression is going to be saved into memory and it's not going to be loaded every single time and for those one thousand times then it would be better for you um is that's there my understanding any benefit it. to it just in these two yeah let's do I, it. I, I i i don't know well let, let's try it let's see what the i i really doubt it i don't I don't think because here's the thing to me. Yeah, I know. Like, that, why would we not include it? You know, is there any reason why it would slow anything down? Like, why would it, we it would not slow it? it? No, no, no. It, it yeah. will not slow it. It will not slow it. But uh, for for our use case right here, it's not like um, 
something noticeable. And I think the fact that we're stopping for the message box also renders it like you don't need it any longer. But if you are running a loop very fast and it is a lo lot of times, then yeah, you might uh, notice the difference on, on speed on that case. Um, especially if the if the regular expression is huge, because this one is a very short regular expression, by the way. Well, and I know we looked at this where this was roughly overall the JSON string is thirteen thousand lines, and yes. unfortunately, when we were starting with this, we said, "Hey, what if we can speed up and not search the entire thing with the regex and just search for part of it?" Yes, if that happened to have been condensed into a small area, we could have used. You know, like the in string or something to uh, uh, the stir length, not stir length. What's it? Is it in string to, to get you right to that point first very fast and then, you know, reduce the amount we were doing the regex on? But the thing was, our it was like 90%, you know, was the, the stuff we were searching anyway. So it wouldn't have really helped us in this case. Right. In this case, it was not that big. Uh, the, 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 it is not going to help that much. And again, this type of checks that we're doing. Um, I, th I seriously thought about it just because um, the performance in this particular machine is not as I had before. But in my other machine, for example, I wouldn't even have noticed. I would have said like, yeah, that's okay. You know, like, the other but, thing I was going to mention was, right, we're just FYI, right at the moment, we're using an older laptop. It does have an SSD drive, but it's, it's not fast. So that's part it, of it. It seems to be that is the processor. But this is one of the things. Whenever you're programming, even if your computer is very good and everything feels smooth and everything works fine, what happens is that if you are in a different computer, um, the difference in computing power might make it so that your script is not reliable enough or it takes way too long. When I opened this up the first time, I was like, wow, it's taking so long to open, you see? So that's when I started thinking about performance. If I was in my machine, I, I could I could assure you that I wouldn't have noticed. And I would be like, yeah, if oh. somebody uses it and they have, uh, if it is low in their computer, well, that's their computer. <laughs> and, and for instance, because I know you and I talked about this, that uh, at the be up above, because it's common out, because I think I started the, the basics of this script and then you took it over. The that include default settings at the very top? Yes. So in that, I have, do have set yes, batch lines, lines minus yes. one. And so it's always on in everything I do, just because I'm like, screw it. Exactly. Why, should I, why should I wait? You know? Yes. Um, now, in any case, I do understand that for, for the purposes of this script, that's excellent to have. Now, there's another um, one of the things that you have to keep in mind is that uh, when you do this, what supposedly happens is that the scripts do not care about your processor anymore. So it is just grabbing as much power as it can from the processor. And most of the time, that doesn't matter. But in certain situations, then you have to be mindful of that. Because if you're running in, a, in an environment that has other scripts that are time sensitive, then you, you do not want to just grab that and make the other scripts unreliable or other programs for that matter. In this case, it doesn't matter. It's just like a little thing that is just going to show up a, a small GUI and that's it. But um, I think that's the reason why they don't made it. They haven't made it a default yet. But I'm not sure if oh, it's, yeah. version two is already a default for it. But I'm not sure. Um, but from now on, I, I will always consider having the set batch lines always there, because yes, it does make a difference. It actually half. It actually makes half the time to whatever script you're running. I, as far as I could tell, on with this little test, I don't know other tests, right. but actually, it, it greatly yeah, improves. My experience has been it, it does really depend on what you're doing in your computer as well and the load that's going on, right? Like, it, it doesn't always, you don't always see that kind of performance increase. Yeah, but right. So, but in this case, uh, just by removing the other code, the code that is very, um, uh, that, that are two loops on it. Uh, as soon as I run this up and it gets the results, like it shows up very fast. Yeah, when I have the other, yeah, when I have the other code, if I just go ahead and comment um, the part with the regular expression here. So if I just comment this out and and only run the code, the, the other one that has two loops, you will notice that it will take a little time for it to actually show you the GUI. You see? 
that was a long time just to show a GUI. And at least here, you can see the performance issue. Like it is, it takes way too long just for that. Um, but as soon as you have it with the regular expression, um, the the time that it takes for to load is like, well, you could wait that, especially with a little thing saying that it is loading or something like that. You can wait. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really liked going over this thing because I could um, learn something new actually with Maester. Hey, if you just watched that video and you felt it was a bit over your head, I would recommend reach out to us at joe at theautomator.com and we offer consulting services where we will help educate you and work with you to level you up. To me, it's best ways that you can start learning auto hockey and make really significant jumps is having someone assess where you are and then kind of nudge you a little bit higher and higher um, and get your code worked on by someone who's been doing it for a long time.